more and more we speak to the community, the more and more they want an insight into the brand. And I think it's just super important that we show that in the most honest way we can. Couture and selfishness is quite an interesting one, really. It's something that, you know, myself and Scott have always aspired to, you know, to be working with selfishness for our, you know, our couture come journey. It's something that we spoke about. And when, you know, they reached out to us and, and, what, and wanted to, you know, stock the brand and the brand be represented in there was, you know, a huge moment for us in a sense because it's something that for me, I would never want to be in a store and approach them. I'd always want them to want the brand. And I think that was one of the key things for us was, you know, it will happen at some point and, and when it does happen, you know, to, to enjoy it and be proud of the moment, I think. Super exciting, you know, we pitched against some of the best brands in the world there. And for them, you know, to want to stock us and us to have a place in their stores, massive really. Uh, so we're just on his way to Selfridges, Manchester Trafford Centre. We're going to speak to the brand specialists there. Uh, just in a little speech on the brand, the heritage, who we are, what we're about, what our customer looks like. The guys are going to walk through some product stuff. Um, so we're going to walk through men's and women's. A little bit of the product there, let them touch it and feel it. All prepped for an exciting launch on Sunday. It was really nice that you know, it's like a match made in heaven. Like we were in their vision board, their yeah, vision yeah. board. Mm -hmm. They're in our vision board. Yeah, yeah. it's like get your hands together. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Amazing. So yeah, here for training today. Uh, have you seen the room yet? No. So I'll take you up to the room and then I'll just let all the teams know that you're here. Obviously, there's a lot of planning from the head office point of view. You know, we're onboarding a you know a new partner, and having to set all that kind of thing up, and also the stock side of things, but. From a training aspect, some of the team from the head office went over to Selfridges, uh, sat with the team there, you know, went through the brand guidelines, went through the brand, you know, every diff every single detail that we want the Selfridges team to be kind of portraying about the brand. And I think doing that with the team there and kind of including them almost as like an extension of the team here um, was was really good, and I think it's valuable as well, allowing us to grow like. We've got relationships with a lot of staff members in the Birmingham store, in the Trafford Centre store, from when, when we've gone down to visit and when we've spoke to the team there. And I think having them being able to ask questions to us at any point and understand when things are coming in or, you know, different colourways of certain things and why we've made them certain GSM, I think it's really good. Half nine, Selfridges. It's all happening behind us. Scott's gone to get some waters. Um, super excited. The guys have been working really hard on it. And Scratch Creative have done an amazing job. And to be fair, it's probably one of the least stressful um, nights I've had. Obviously, the lead up to it's been chaos. The amount of meetings we've had to have on it. Everything's looking good. Everything's running smoothly. All the work was done off site, so we've had to bring it all in and just doing the kind of the final fit tonight. Guys, we're working through the night. I don't think it'll be stupid clock. I'm back in seven in the morning to do more of the visual merge, which probably see you later on in the video. But it's looking good, mate. I'm really excited. It's something that we've been, you know, one, it's been a bit of a dream for the brand since we started. Um, you know, for Control Club to be in Selfridges and to be finally here and building our own space in um, our home city is amazing. Um, some more locations to come soon, but they're. Um, Few weeks away. You obviously get only Sunday evening training to, to when they open up on a Monday, so you've got like 14 hours to, to do it. So the Scratch Creative again came in and did a great job. We were we were there till midnight on the Sunday, back in at six o'clock the the Monday with the buying team and, and the merchandising team to make sure that the products were on show were best sellers, put out in a way that we'd want them to be showcased. So it was it was quite an intense 24 hour period. Coming together, mate. It's coming together nicely. Final pictures, get the get the um, rug in the middle and the centerpiece. Yeah, <laughs> love that. Yeah. When I like to get around to doing that.
we wanted to merch it initially how we would merch it and I think it's important for the team to understand you know when as you're talking through why we're merching it this way and things like that for them to understand exactly why and of course there is always little tweaks and you know we've got some great experts in salvages as well on the merchant side so leaning on them and asking their opinion on when we've done it was was great but having a the team there in the morning merching it and kind of looking at the you know the final space with all the product in was brilliant yeah we're here mate nearly done Looks amazing, the guys have been working really hard, the merch, the merch side of things as well. There's another delivery to arrive with some more stuff that's going to come, so we might be flipping a few things out later on. But, space looks amazing, build's been amazing, um, looks looking good. I'm just excited mate to launch, today's finally here. So we did something different for the Selfridges launch. We kind of, it was a lot more, it was more of like a soft launch and it was a lot more, more of a sophisticated evening than probably what we've done in the past. It wasn't really a party, it was more, you know, everyone internal from the brand, friends of the brand, people that have been there throughout the journey and then some members of the community as well. And it was almost like a moment of appreciation to see how far we've come and kind of get people closer to the brand and that have supported us along the journey throughout to kind of come down and see the see the space and take it all in and I think that was probably the right thing to do and it's one of the nicest events we've done is in like it just felt right for that space again you're in a store it's not something where you're going to be throwing a huge party kind of taking over and everyone drinking and things like that but um, it was just a really nice moment probably something that I'll never forget. Like we say there's one thing getting into Selfridges and that's just the first step but it's then the constant worry of how do you perform in there I think we doubled pretty much every week since we've been with them. Within each sort of category of brands within Selfridges, we get pigeoned with like streetwear, so 12 brands, and women's wear, half-leisure brands, 12 brands, and we've always been consistently in the top three. But as me and Ross are like so competitive and always want the best and always striving for more, it's like that's not enough for us, so we want to keep continuing, growing, keep doing more and more sales but it's been it's been really good that we've we've smashed sort of the, the targets itself to give for us um, but that's not quite enough for me and Ross we want to keep continuing to grow.